Hi, my name is Taylor Heichel, and this is my website, uh, truecrimelovers.com. So this is a true crime blog. Um, this is basically purely an entertainment blog. I personally love true crime, and sometimes I just want to tell stories, um, tell the stories of victims, and I don't have anywhere to, to put those stories, so this is a place where I can talk about them. Because sometimes my family members and friends really don't want to hear about it. <laughs> so this is my homepage. Um, this is my logo right here. True crime lovers with a person with a knife. Down here I have like quotes. I have this is me. Little introduction to me. And then you can message me with any questions. These are my social media handles. This is my contact page. Essentially, um, just another introduction, more information about me, and then you can message me and find my social media handles that way as well. This is the blog post page. Um, you can see I already have two posts up um, about Lavina Johnson and Irene Garza. And in my blog posts, I make sure to provide some pictures about the case, the people involved, where, who, how. Um, and then I always end up with my sources at the bottom. And you can also leave a little comment as well. And then you can go to my shop over here. I'm selling quote-unquote selling, <laughs> a beanie for $25 with the True Crime logo on it. It's kind of cute, actually. I would definitely have that myself. And then you have various sizes of a, a True Crime Lovers logo poster. And then this is on sale. It's a True Crime Lovers t-shirt. It's kind of cute. Over here, you can subscribe to my blog. You can look at me again. And then you have categories, and you can just kind of look and See, murder of Lavina Johnson has the true crime. But anyways, and that's my website for you. The, the most valuable thing I've learned is how to use it, the Divi theme. The Divi theme is very helpful once you get to know how to maneuver around it. I like that there's different formats you can use. I used a format, but I didn't... Uh, necessarily copy the format. I just kind of used it as a base because I, every time I tried to make mine from scratch, it kind of looked bad. So I kind of used a format, but then made it my own. Um, and I would also say that using the Divi theme was the most difficult aspect of making a website, just because I've tried many times to make um, a home page from scratch and it just didn't look good and it was frustrating because I use an Elementor theme for my internship which is a completely different theme builder so um, uh, really learning how to use the Divi theme has helped me understand how to make a website look more presentable if that makes sense um, I hope you liked my website and I hope you had a good semester um, be safe out there and good luck.